Kanye West fans are defending him, saying that Kim Kardashian basically emotionally abused him throughout the marriage and after the divorce. I know that people are going to come to Kanye's defense because, of course, he has been through some hard times in his life. We all know that uh, Kanye West suffered from depression and, you know, many people were saying how much he was uh, bipolar. But listen, guys, I think, you know, he went through some hardships and he is bouncing back. But I do believe that him emotionally wrecked Kanye West and here's why personally I've seen many celebrities lashed out on public uh you know social media so I'm not even gonna judge the fact that Kanye West lashed out and he's different from the rest however the way in which he you know breaks down in public he cries in public talking about traumas I think this man was emotionally abused controlled and even though i'm happy he's out of this marriage and out of the situation with kim he is still going through a lot even though he's silent because even though you know the strongest persons go through a lot and look at twitch the other day that committed a uh, suicide he went through a lot in silence which no one knew but guys i think kanye west went through a lot and he was dating so many other women before he got married to Bianca Simsori. I think at first he was trying to uh, seek revenge and try to hurt Kim the way Kim hurted him. But that didn't work out. And I'm so happy that he had found this person, Bianca, because probably he would have been still out here dating so many other females like Chaney Jones. Because everyone compared this girl to Kim, saying that she looks exactly like Kim. Kanye West is not over Kim because he's trying to do everything in his powers to basically hurt Kim. I think when a man tries to hurt you after a divorce, it's because the woman had hurt them, okay? I think Kanye West was hurt. I think he was traumatized. He was basically wrecked emotionally. I'm not going to say physically, honey. I'm just saying emotionally hurt because after everything he had been through and he has a lot to say about the marriage and how much Kim, you know, has full control over the kids. He doesn't have any say when it comes on to his kids being in his kids life. And it's very sad just because Kim is a woman, you know, society makes it. Uh, known that oh Kanye West is the problem I doubt Kanye is the problem if he was a problem how could he you know remarried so quickly he's very loving we all seen how Kanye converse with people he's very loving yes he calls a lot of people out and to be honest he is saying many things that many other people would want to say but is scared to say and he is genuine for doing that not because he's calling out people means that he's toxic or he's problematic i think he's just real genuine he sticks up for himself he, he always gonna speak the truth and tell you guys what you need to hear and i don't think that's a, a person who's toxic i think that's a person who is living in reality someone who is super genuine and i can't see nothing wrong with that and to be honest, he had opened so many doors for uh, celebrities that we see today. Kim is one of them. So if she's going to tarnish his reputation, I think she's going to get her karma because you could never tarnish someone's reputation who helped you. Like, I think Kanye West, uh, he opened so many doors, like I said, for so many people. And he opened a very large door for Kim. You know, Kim was already famous, but I'm just saying she gained so much more popularity just being with Kanye West. And to, for you to take advantage of that and drag his name through the mud, like, I don't think it's very fair to him at all. Uh, even though I told you guys, you know, this man is so strong mentally. Uh, he has been through a lot. You know, we all deal with losses. He lost his mom, and it's very unfortunate that he did. And he loves his mom, so it's like every woman that he gets in his life, he treats them with respect. He loves them deeply. So when Kim hurt him, he took it so hard, think thinking that, you know, 
there's no one there for me. And so when he found Bianca, since sorry, and this girl is showing Kanye West that, hey, I am not like those type of women. There's, I'm actually your person and I'm not Kim. I'm not going to be the type of person who needs this and that. Just be a man and I'm going to be someone genuine to you because that's what I do. And of course, he married this girl. You know, for Kanye West to marry Bianca Sinsori, she must be a good person. And Kim knew what she was doing. She, Kim knew how bad and messed up she was throughout that marriage. Hence why she's so jealous. And she's dragging his name, dragging her name in the mud, trying to make everyone seem as though Kanye West is this horrible person and that he's married to this horrible person also. Right. Like there has been so many things in discussion that Kim is saying about Bianca Sinsori, how she was a person who messed around with many guys. And like it is so messed up because she doesn't even know Bianca Sinsori. Bianca Sinsori doesn't even know Kim like that. However, Bianca loves their kids. I mean, she's the stepmom. And we all seen how Bianca is so super sweet towards North. She is a lover person like she loves on people. She is really that girl who is at peace, who's at uh, tranquility, someone who's divine, you know, someone who is not like him. And that's why I think, you know, Kanye West was emotionally abused, mentally, bipolar, uh, depression, anxiety, stress. He came out. He said it all. Where is that deriving from? I know many celebrities are on, you know, take drugs sometimes and such, but like Kanye West is a different person. And basically what I'm seeing, it's his trauma that is affecting him. Not only the, the, the death of his mom, but his marriage, you know, hearing your wife name calling on so many dudes, uh, you know, that sex tape drama, it's, it's, it was a lot for him. However, he still helped her. And now, the fact that she is pretending as if Kanye West was not there for her makes me feel so sad for him. How could you betray someone who loved you? It's unfortunate. But you guys, let me know what y'all think. Because I think Kanye West was indeed emotionally wrecked. And he's still rising at the same time, even though, you know, he went through all of that. He's still, def he's still defeating lawsuits. Like, the guy is super rich. No matter what you say or if you don't like it, he's still super rich. People are still buying Yeezy at the end of the day. And so am I gonna. So, you know, it is what it is. Like, I don't get why, you know, there's so many bitter ex-wives out there. Like, stick it up. You know, you filed for that divorce. Live with it period but let me know what y'all think leave a comment subscribe don't forget to share if you care and thank y'all for sipping with us bye guys